Mertensia virginica, or Virginia bluebells. Uh, Mertensia, that genus, um, is named after Franz Karl Mertens. So he was a German botanist. Now, he passed away in 1831, and he specialized in algae, but he was pretty good at what he did. And so if you get pretty good at what you do, maybe you can have a plant genus named after yourself, too. (laughs) Anyways, that's where that Mertensia comes from. So I have up on the screen here uh, the stats on this plant so that we can be sure that we're talking about the same plant. Um, Martensia virginica is an early uh, coming up plant in the springtime. Um, You usually find it along um, woodland streams in sort of wet or moist areas, woodland edges in the woods, and then of course in people's yards where it's maybe a little moist or wet. Um, And so partial sun or shade, they take lots of different soil types. Um, And they get maybe one and a half to two feet tall, although I'll be honest, I have seen them a whole lot shorter. And so what we're going to be looking at is what Mertensia virginica looks like uh, coming up in the springtime. And this is going to be an established plant and what that looks like coming up in the springtime and not a seedling. So a seedling is when you plant a seed and then the first thing that comes up. That is not going to be this. This is going to be looking at an established plant or an established patch of Virginia bluebells and what they look like when they first start coming up. Okay, so here we are in early spring. Now for me, in this particular video, this is very early March. And um, most of what you're going to be looking at is this very early spring, very early March. I will say this particular year, they came up a few weeks early. It was a very warm winter and warm spring and um, everything has come up several weeks early. And so what you are seeing then is what they look like. And through all this different footage, what you will notice is when they come up, Sometimes they come up and they are straight up green, but often they have this darkish purple brownish coloring to them. And then that will change into their characteristic, lovely, bright green uh, as they age. And by age, I mean, it can just take like a day or two. (laughs) Sometimes they'll flip from that dark purple to this green. And so right away, uh, most of the time, you can also start to see the general shape of the leaf. So Virginia bluebells have sort of an oval or o- ovoid. <laughs> really learning my geometry doing these videos. Um, sort of an oval-shaped leaf. And so you'll be able to start seeing that. And so as they start to come up, all these little plants, you can see um, some of them are only maybe one or two inches tall, and some of them that you're seeing here are maybe three or four inches tall. And I do note that with Virginia bluebells, uh, sometimes when they come up, they're that characteristic dark purplish brownish color. A day or two later, they're already a bit taller, and they're flipping to their green, looking lovely. And then it'll be um, I don't know, another week or so maybe until they start to get flower buds that you can see. But as you see in some of this video that you're looking at, some of these that are coming up, they've only been up for a couple days and they already, when you kind of peel back some of the leaves, they've already got their buds in there (laughs) ready to go. Um, and it'll still be a little bit of time before they actually bloom, but sometimes those buds form down in there really early and other times and some of these other ones you'll see they can look a little bigger and they still have no buds so I find that variety amongst the Virginia bluebells to be nice yeah nice a little variation it's nice now my nails are green because I was in preparation for St. Patrick's Day (laughs) Yeah.
You will also note um, for these different footages that um, when you're far away, like so many plants, when they're coming up, it can be very hard to notice or know what you're looking for. Uh, and then you zoom in and it's, you know, this three inches tall little thing. Uh, but once you have an eye for it, which you are now getting the eye for what Virginia bluebells look like when they come up, once you see it, you see it. So in some of these videos, you also notice these little purple flowers around. And those are... Um, I think, I'm pretty sure I'm correct, um, those are Siberian squill, which is non-native and uh, many consider them actually invasive. So they usually, I've noted um, that they usually come up and bloom just a little bit before the bluebells do. And so in a clump of Virginia bluebells, um, of which uh, there are many clumps in this wooded area that I'm getting all this video from, there are many clumps. And in some cases, some of these clumps that you're seeing come up are established, they will bloom. In some cases, you're even seeing a couple buds in there already. In other cases, some of these little leaves you're seeing uh, will not put up any flowers. They're still in their... Um, early stages of development. So Virginia bluebells, like I had said, sometimes it can be several years um, of like a leaf or a couple leaves coming up before they will make um, an actual bloom or a flower. So in a big patch or in a patchy area of Virginia bluebells, you get a lot of first year growth, second year growth, third year growth, established plants that make flowers, kind of a, an ongoing situation. Embarrassingly, um, <laughs> there was a time when I used to confuse that Siberian squill coming up for Virginia bluebells, <laughs> but once you see and understand the difference, it's actually sort of a silly mistake to make. <laughs> but if any of you make that mistake, I won't hold it against you. Okay, finally here at the very end, um, this is taken in a different year. And in this year, uh, when the bluebells came up, it was more like mid-spring. And so for me, that's very early April. And so um, you can see this looks a lot like the other ones, but this is a whole month uh, later in time. And so <laughs> our climate is undergoing changes um, and even just regular weather variability um, on its own, you can get them coming up at different times. Uh, I mean, several weeks apart of when they even come up, as you can as you can see here. Okie doke. So that is what established Mertensia virginica looks like as it comes up in the springtime. So now you know what you're looking for. Plant native.